the powers of leg lie and the uses of leg lie. I wanted to make a talk about the use of leg lie and its attributed alleged powers that uh, there are many people who read about the powers of leg lie <coughs> who then immediately jump upon these alleged powers and think to use them for being selfish or uh, inauspicious or uh, uses which do not lie within the five Buddhist precepts of not killing, not stealing, not lying or uh, speaking bad about others or causing negativity through speech uh, or not committing sexual perversion or uh, <coughs> uh, intoxicating oneself or doing business with things that are not within the five precepts. Uh, so there are many, for example, gangsters who may use guns to commit crimes with and read about the uh, invincibility, Kongapan Chatri protective ability and Maha Utpal uh, gun stopper abilities, which are said to deactivate anything that uses gunpowder to fire with, uh, and think uh, to immediately use this leg lie for such a purpose directly with that intention. Uh, I would say that leg lie in principle is not meant to be used for such purposes but that miraculous events have been recounted of people who have had leg lie for busha and this is the point leg lie is for busha and these people who may have experienced miraculous blessings from the leg lie did not experience it because they took it out in their pocket to rob a bank with and the cops couldn't shoot them. Now the Leklai has a Tewada, a Deva inhabiting one of the Siddhis. If you read about the 18 Siddhis or the 9 Siddhis, the 18 Siddhis, they were yogic practitioners who attained Itibada, the four powers and other powers who created a body of light and sent their body of light into the cave wall to inhabit the adamantine substance of Lake Lai, which remains within the cave wall <coughs> for millions of years, so that they could continue their practice without having to die at physical death. And so they left their physical bodies and went to dwell within the Lake Lai. And these are yoga, yogic meditation practitioners, Lursi, what we call in Thailand Lursi, and the Lursi, they practice the Sila, which are the moral precepts, and they practice renunciation and meditation, and they bestow blessings upon those who do the same, especially those who are Buddhist, and Hindu, of course, and those who busha in the proper way, and keep the Sila, keep the moral precepts of not stealing, killing, lying, having perverted behavior or being constantly intoxicated and so to have right profession within the moral precepts and to busha the lek lai in the normal way as something which has a tewada, has a deva, an angelic intelligence dwelling within it and to pay reverence and respect to it for its merits, the merits of the spirit who has managed to create a body of light and dwell within the leg lie and through good behavior within the sila and through busha to the leg lie to receive its blessings but it's not for testing and shooting at to see if it breaks or if you do these things it's harm long we are forbidden to test the magic you should take with faith but you should not test it and if you think that faith is too much without testing it, then you should recommend it better not to busha leg lie, because leg lie is for busha, not for testing or for going out and doing crimes with. And 
you know, if there is a devata, a tevada, a deva dwelling within, the deva will not bestow blessings on he who intends evil deeds or thinks to use it for the wrong purposes. And so, if you're hoping for this kind of invincibility miracle, such as Kongrapan, or any such higher forms of magical results, then the best way, in my advice, to have a chance of the Leklai performing such a miracle is to practice the five moral precepts and keep them, and to just pay sacred reverence to Bucha Leklai, and put it out to bathe in the full moonlight and give it honey to feed. You can either offer separately in your imagination then offer it or you can bathe the leklai in the honey itself. And you can use leklai for immersing in water and prayer water bowl or a clear crystal bowl and chant prayers and meditate to make prayer water. But that Leklai is principle, an object of Bucha. You Bucha the Leklai, not use it for crime or think directly of the miraculous blessings which can be received from it because they must be deserved by you through your behavior. And this is the real way to Bucha Leklai. And so I hope with this I can put an end to some of the many questions which people who do not yet understand the true purpose and the true intentions one must have when receiving and using Leklai as a Bucha, object of Bucha, not an object of abuse. And that I don't recommend anybody who does not understand these principles and treat it as a sacred object, not as something to shoot at or to stop yourself from being hit by bullets with that direct intention because that's just going the wrong way and I doubt if any inhabiting Tewada Deva will protect people with such attitudes that's so all it's a bit of a catch-22 that you have to be good for the leg lie to be good to you that's so all that's just some advice and warnings about what you should have in mind if you think about renting and uh, performing bucha, paying reverence to leg lie. This is Ajahn Spencer, hoping this helps to understand about the use and abuse of leg lie. Ajahn Spencer signing off.